Rosemary Melanson was enjoying some country music and the company of her two daughters, Paige and Stephanie, when she was shot in the chest at the Route 91 Harvest Festival. And I just remember thinking, I think I just got shot. And then I pulled my cell phone out of my front pocket and I text my husband and I said, I just got shot, I love you. Rosemary's memories of that night include these pictures and an out-of-body experience. I can see my dead body on the ground. I can see my girls over top of me. I can see their friends. I can hear the bullets um, going. I can see people running and jumping. I could see the whole scenario down here of people. Our mom is laying there and she's not moving and she is faced like face down, palms up. And that was a really scary thing to see because we thought, oh, well, maybe mom's just a mom and she knows what to do in this situation and maybe we should just lay still too. But it's not until when we crawled over here, she gave us no direction. She literally was lifeless at that point. Um, and we flipped her over and that's when we realized she had been shot in the chest. It uh, broke two ribs, it punctured my lungs, it blew out the junction where the esophagus meets the stomach. It just blew that junction right out. Went through my stomach, took out a third of my liver, went through my spleen. Um, my kidneys were infected. I had a torn rotator cuff. Um, so I was on life support for two months. After 13 months in the hospital and 20 plus surgeries and procedures, Rosemary authored this book. To inspire people that if I can get through what I went through um, and wasn't expected to live, uh, you can get through it too. Part of the proceeds, she says, will benefit the Vegas Strong Resiliency Center. Because I want them to be able to use it for uh, mental health awareness um, because it's such uh, a problem. Um, you know, like I said, whether you're going through divorce, whether you're going through cancer, whether you're going through whether you're bipolar, you know, whether it's trauma, PTSD, whatever obstacle you're facing, um, therapy can definitely um, help you navigate through the issues that you're having. How crucial was therapy for you? It was everything. It was everything. I don't know where we would be today without getting, without doing it. Throughout their lives, Paige and Stephanie have utilized dance as a form of therapy. Alongside their mother, they run a studio called Dance Dynamics. The way that music can carry you and the way that, you know, you allow your body to move through it. Um, sometimes you just get lost and in the class, in the music, in the steps, and it's, it's a really, really, really good release for whatever you're feeling. But after one October, Rosemary felt her daughters needed traditional therapy to talk to someone, which they did try immediately after the mass shooting, only finding the right fit about a year later. Um, we just kind of blindly picked someone and said, you, okay, we'll go, and it, it was not the outcome that I was looking for. I. Um, found another place and uh, a minute after meeting my therapist, I knew, oh my gosh, this is him. Well, me a minute after meeting him, I started telling my story and I just started crying and crying and crying. I didn't realize how much I needed therapy. We were definitely very blessed. I mean, he was the best person I could have ever talked to about everything that I needed to go through and talk about. And um, really, really, really grateful for that. Gratitude for each other is what binds the Melanson family, as does their shared experience of tragedy, which all three agree they will likely never fully recover from. But I don't let it bring me down because this is the way I look at it, is I don't think God gives us more than we can handle, although that was a lot to handle, it was a lot to handle. But the way I look at it is when, when that gunman decided to do that, it brought it, it was awful, awful, awful. But if you allow it to fester inside of you, you're going to be walking around like this all the time with your shoulders down. And I just refuse to do that. I refuse to allow him to win. I, I will not allow it, it to happen.